Hey everyone, I am your host, Corey Rich and Ray Richardson with Bellator 124 Bets and Predictions. Uh, going down in Plymouth, Michigan on September 12th. It's actually about 45 minutes away from my house. Uh, if you've been watching so far, I'm 5 and 1 with my video predictions for $150 profit. If you're not watching, shame on you. If you are, good job, guys. Uh, first off, we're going to just do the main card of uh, Friday. We're going to kick things off with. Uh, I believe, actually, it's Ryan Couture and Tom Bignasco. Bignasco is coming in as a late replacement. He's 3-2. and two. Uh, Randy Couture, son of the prodigy, uh, you know, ex-UFC heavyweight and light heavyweight champion. Uh, this is late replacement. Betting lines are probably going to be outrageous for this fight. Uh, whenever the hell they do come up, though, uh, depending on what, Ryan Couture is at, I will more than likely take the under or him by submission, but we'll have to see. Uh, next, we actually have a really good fight I've been looking forward to. We got uh, L.C. Davis and Zelton, or Zelton Rodriguez. Uh, Rodriguez trains over there in Brazil with uh, Jose Aldo and, you know, all those... Uh, all those guys, you know, they're all champions. And but the one thing, whatever. But uh, I think LC is going to take this fight, and he's just got he's got superior boxing. Uh, Zealand leaves his hands down, which is going to open up for a lot of. They're both south uh, south paws, so I think it's really going to open up a lot of the hooks, and uh, there might even be a finish. But uh, I'm definitely going for LC in this fight. Next off, we have <laughs> the light heavyweight uh, tournament final, which is actually going to be probably one of the, or is the last Bellator tournament to date right now with Liam McGeary and Kelly Anderson. Uh, Anderson is, he's a really good wrestler. Uh, McGeary, he'll knock you the fuck out in one punch. This guy's 6'6". Six, six. 205 pounds. He, ha I mean, he's 8-0. He hasn't been fully tested yet. But, uh, I mean, I guess we'll have to see how his takedown defense is. He, has, he can get taken down. And Kelly Anderson, that's all he does. He does not have a striking game. All he has is a, I will clinch you, maybe press you up against the cage until I take you down. And I'm just going to put myself fat body, you know, my own fat body on top of you. And, you know, maybe try to ground upon you, but regardless, uh, Liam McGeary is just going to be too powerful for him. Uh, mark my words, this, I believe he, well, he's already open at minus 300. I bet on Bovada or bet online. Uh, they are little bastards and have not opened up the lines yet. But when they do, I am definitely uh, throwing down a good amount. Uh, I'll tell you at the end. Uh, the main event, we have Emmanuel Newton, who is the light heavyweight champion. Uh, beat King Mo a couple times, uh, knocked him out once, you know, decision, I believe, the next time. Either way, he's fighting Joey Beltran, uh, UFC washout. He's fought everybody who's there, but regardless, anybody that he has fought where it was striker versus striker, Joey Beltran has lost. And, I mean, Rampage, they gave him a tough-ass fight. We're going to send you down to Bellator. You just got kicked out. Yeah, here, fight Rampage Jackson. He knocked him out first round with, like, two seconds left. And then his next fight, he just completely dominated uh, Vladimir... Uh, fuck. Mashenko. Uh... The guy was about to retire. What do you expect from him? But either way, at a minus 800, I don't know if Emmanuel Newton is worthy of doing a major line play or a main line play. Uh, however, I will more than likely be doing a Liam McGeary and Emmanuel Newton parlay at the end of the night. Uh, more than likely, I'll probably, because I feel pretty strong in both these guys, uh, I'd have to see what the lines are going to come out, but I think it's going to be somewhere around like $200 for about 160 
somewhere close to there. Uh, mark those words. Iron Arts Fight Picks. Follow, guys. Subscribe. And uh, if you don't know me, maybe you might want it because there's only more goodness, greatness to come. Have a good one, guys.